previously on Knott's Landing. What was he like when he was younger? Why are you so curious about Greg? I'm just trying to figure him out. You trying to get out without introducing me to your lovely date? Jay, this is Mac McKenzie's daughter. He's the date her mother. Sorry. You're much too pretty for an old goat like him. How would you explain why you go to such trouble for all these other women? When I'm right here. Are you joking? What do you think? I think you gotta be joking. They have contingency plans. They're ready to dump this whole thing in your laps. You blow the whistle now, and they'll make this look like you operate the drug ring. One of your security guards found a quantity of illegal substance at Lotus Point. Cocaine. We'd like to ask you a few questions about it. The fashionable resort... It's not what they called us last year. The fashionable resort had fallen on hard times, so it was surprising to many that the owners went forward with a million-dollar-plus expansion of the Lotus Point Harbor. It was a gamble that paid off, said Cohen and Karen McKenzie, when business picked up dramatically after the new harbor was unveiled. But was it really a, quote, gamble, or was the deck stacked from the beginning? You know, they practically have you and Abby selling drugs and cocaine to kids on the docks. Well, at least everyone is safe. Karen, I've been beat up shot at the kids have been kidnapped and terrorized you've been slandered and all i get is that thank god you're alive i mean i thought there was more to life than just that me too what happened to the good guys around here don't they win anymore every time i pick up a newspaper or watch the news the bad guys come out on top then don't pick up the paper and watch the news that's not a great solution well it's the best i could come up with on short notice and it's almost 8 30. now you'll be telling me to get dressed and go to work and shave. This is disgusting. God save us from bureaucrats, politicians, and the press corps. Am I right? Hey, no argument here. Mac, believe me, the people up in Sacramento appreciate all the hard work that you're doing down here. The governor sent you down here to hold my hand through this? Nah, just wanted me to tell you to uh, take it easy. And to remind you that sometimes, in order to get things done, we have to do something we don't like. Look the other way. Mac, this is a friendly conversation. Doesn't sound friendly, Howard. Do you think I like being here? I know you're a right guy, and I appreciate that. But you've lost sight of the fact that we're all part of the same team. We all have to pull together. So you're telling me that the next time these drug dealers set up at Lotus Point, just to look the other way, don't say anything, stand there and be stupid! If I didn't know all the facts and someone from my team who had more knowledge than I did made a suggestion to me, I'd listen to him. That's a crock! Don't you be a loose cannon running around shooting yourself and God knows who else in the foot. Don't go mixing metaphors, Howard. Loose cannons can be put out of commission and thrown on scrap heaps. Hey, Howard, last week a guy put a gun to my head, a real gun, and tried to get me to play along with him. Now, do you think that this lecture's gonna scare me? This isn't a lecture, Mac. This was friendly advice, and here's some more. You should work on that temper of yours. 